Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my basement days, days later than I intended because it wouldn't be me if I didn't have a major software computer trauma every single month. So all you techie people out there, if you can help me figure out why all of a sudden my software, my editing software will suddenly decide to use like 60% of my memory, which then makes my laptop crash every 10 minutes. How to stop that? I would be greatly appreciated. But I needed to break. I needed to take a break from my trauma. So <laughs> I am here watching Lucifer and we left off with Lucifer again was somehow tied to this murder, the murder of the week and has discovered realized, been confronted with the fact that, well, obviously he should have known his relationships were very surface level and why he might have given many, 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 many people an exciting, glorious encounter. That's what they were. They were an exciting, glorious encounter. They didn't carry real weight, no real depth, i.e no real meaning. I feel his pain. <laughs> so he's re-examining his role. I don't know in the world if you could say he's re-examining his role in the world or just what he wants, needs, what he desires. Ooh, what does Lucifer desire? Mm -hmm -hmm. Chloe also found out Dan slept with Charlotte. <laughs> And Mays herself is looking for her own satisfaction, her own sense of worth. She just hasn't figured out where that needs to come from. Yeah, I think that's all that was happened last week, last episode. We get the kiss. You know, we had the kiss. There was the lean, lean some more. He, mm. Lucifer made himself irresistible by being honest and genuine. He was genuine, which is so goddamn attractive. <laughs> how could you not have kissed him? No, how? Mm -hmm. It's impossible. Impossible. You had to have been a rock shell inhuman to have not given in. So where do we go from here? What does this mean? What does this mean? But I'm excited to get to it and I know you're ready for me as well. So we have the big cozy blanket and then my drink today is a uh, Bigfoot Java. It was the first day of my local farmer's market. So of course that meant rain. So the hatch is due to the rain. <laughs> we got a little soaked on and Bigfoot was, was between me and the market. So I needed to feed my feelings. So there we are. I hope you have your favorite beverage as well. You're gonna remember that hopefully the full episode watch along will be available on Patreon. Okay guys, let's just get to it. <laughs> that was a shot. What's gonna stop him? Detective. Are you sure you want to do this? Shut up. Now, I'm glad he asked. I'm glad he asked. And she's sure now. Until. <gasps> I'll see if I'm a love handles. <gasps> What's the whole thing a dream? How was it? So holding a dream? I heard you scream, so I ran in to see if you were in danger. Then I figured out what was really going on. Now, so I stayed to watch a show. <laughs> hey, what was that? That thing you were doing, you were like... <laughs> I don't remember Maze being this silly at the beginning of the series, but I'm enjoying it a lot. I just wish you'd loosen up, Decker. You know, throw caution to the wind, be impulsive, just once. So what happened on the beach? The beach happened and then what? The beach happened and then what? Maybe this time will be different. Maybe this time. This time will definitely be different. For the first time. I've decided to take things slow. Maybe this time he'll stay. I, well, I know what a big deal the kiss was. 
For the detective. For her? <laughs> no doubt she's overwhelmed by emotions she's never felt before. She's overwhelmed. Hey. Uh-huh. Is that why you went your separate ways after the kiss? Yes, although she did have that wretched dependent waiting for her at home. <laughs> well, two, if you count the child. <laughs> Subtext! I love good subtext! You're stalling because you've realized how complicated your relationship is. I still don't understand why. After everything I said about my less positive qualities, she still chose to kiss me. Genuine. Or maybe she's just taken by you. But that's impossible. You were vulnerable. It's completely immune to my charms. Oh, she was immune. Maybe that's what's changed. Of course, I mean, why else would she kiss me? Because you weren't charming her? I know what to do now. So, how was the rest of your night? It's fine, thank you. But before we deal with whatever atrocity awaits, there's something... <laughs> well, it's about us. Okay. So what is it you truly desire now? Oh. Lucifer, what the hell are you doing? You know that stuff doesn't work on me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to throw caution to the... Never mind, it... That was weird. Yeah, but, but, let's go. Right. You know that's not the first time his ass has been slapped. Right, what have we got? <laughs> 19 years old, Malibu State freshman. Turns out he'd be dead of poisoning. He's got the, the thing. Like poison poisoning. Check it out. He has got Ebola. You guys, I've seen a lot of messed up stuff. This toxin tore through his body. Like it was burning him from the inside out. I mean... Because Ella has superpowers and she can x-ray exactly how things worked just by sight. No medical testing for Ella. No autopsies, visuals. But Johnny Kane came by the dorm yesterday. Oh, mm. Johnny Kane, Johnny Kane, as in the actor, Johnny Kane. Yeah. So how does Johnny Kane know the, the, ki the kid? He was here researching a role. He's like 40 years old. There's no way he could pull off playing a college student. Um, He's quite old, and since when did you become the president of his family? Since he just walked in here wielding a large knife. It's my fault. He's dead because yeah, of me. Yeah, knife, Johnny. I couldn't do what the man said. What man? The man said he would kill that kid if I didn't cut my face. Mr. Johnny Kane. You're an amazing actor, which is why it'll be so interesting to see what decision you make for this experiment. Experiment. Carve up your own face, or... I'm gonna kill a random kid? Rick Cormier, an innocent freshman at Random Street, kid! ...will die. You have 24 hours to decide. Do what's asked, and an antidote will be delivered. Yeah, you know, when I realized that this kid was a real student at Malibu, I... I started thinking that this experiment might be real too. I couldn't cut up my face. Well, of course you couldn't. That's an impossible choice. This killer is clearly playing God. <sighs> Not unlike someone showing affection when it made no logical sense. Excuse me. Where are you going? <laughs> Out the room. She's there. She's there. <laughs> Excuse us, thank you. <laughs> the detective kissed me and I need to know why. Why are you so upset? I assumed you'd be pleased by such a development. Because he doesn't trust anything. I'm upset because I just don't know if it's real. <laughs> detective. Counselor. Douche. Dick. <laughs> Oh, I suppose that's my cue. <laughs> and he works here part-time. Libraries, dreary places, aren't they? They smell like feet. <laughs> I think they can uh, 
be kind of romantic. Have you ever... Detective, what has gotten into you today? This is usually when you tell me to focus on the work. Now, Chloe needs to be genuine. Yeah, I was, I was, I've been trying to kind of, you know what? Be somebody she's not. You've been one to avoid sex. Someone's poisoned. Or not. LAPD, show us what's in your hands. No, raise your hands above your head where we can see them. Well, it might be a gun detective. It's not a gun. But it's all weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are D-Man 69, yeah? It's a very clever play on words, by the way. It was never gets laid, number one taken. I only ever use it for, you know. I couldn't have emailed him at that time even if I wanted to. I was TAing a class. I, I can prove it. Is there a video of him TAing a class? There is an email there. Oh, wait for it. But it wasn't me. I didn't send that email and I didn't send this one either. Another one? This one. Sent an hour ago. Dr. Gwendolyn Scott. Who's Dr. Gwendolyn Scott? You're a world-renowned thoracic surgeon, which is why it'll be so interesting to see what decision you make. You can either destroy your hand or Ashley Corbett, an innocent sophomore at Malibu State, will die. Who keeps targeting these Malibu State kids? Do a test, and an antidote will be delivered. Does that mean Ashley has already taken the poison? Because they wouldn't need an antidote. It's either destroy your hand and the antidote would be delivered, not destroy your hand or we'll poison them. Okay, Detective, in order to do so, we need to blend in. Less hall monitor, more sort of hot for teacher. I got it. Oh, come on. You're staring. Okay. Where'd she put her coat? How do I look? Like you let your hair down. Okay. <laughs> Where's your coat? Right, shall we? Where's the coat? Probably has her keys and her wallet, her weapon. Remember, we're not here to party. We're here to find Ashley and she could be sick already. Find the girl, don't have fun, check. Don't drink that! Oh, but he's Lucifer may or may not harm him. Ashley Corbett! Get to the girls to help you find her. I'm looking for Ashley Corbett. Uh, can you tell me where she is? I'll tell you. But first, you have to do something for us. Can I ask you something, detective? What would you do? Mm. I don't know. I've dedicated my life to saving people. How, how am I supposed to make that choice? You don't have to. That's great if they find the girl, but what if they can't? They will find her. Some of our best people are on it. Just, 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 just. I knew that was coming. Whoa! Hey, was that an earthquake or did you just rock my world? <laughs> you got a boyfriend or something? <laughs> Definitely not. I, I suppose what I'm saying is, you know, how do I know that it's real? It's real if you're two halves of a whole. Oh, Lucifer. You're stronger together than you are apart. What does that actually mean? Damn it, Lucifer, I was so stupid to think I could actually take a leap and trust you for one. Oh my God. Is this her? She's so pretty. Oh. Well, I, I mean, I was working and maybe sort of... Working out my issues? about me? Well, we had some time to kill whilst we're waiting for Ashley, because apparently she's in that bathroom. Don't know what's taking us so long. Because she's dead. It just won't stop. Don't touch her. Whatever you do, Where the don't touch her. Healing happens. Oh. And you lock, you shut the door behind you, Linda? I would have left it. Just, just a crack. I have some upsetting information to give to Lucifer. I'm afraid he won't believe me. I'm afraid he might think I have some ulterior motive. Do you? <laughs> I'm not going to tell him this information for you, if that's what you're asking. What if I say, pretty please? Hmm? Apparently that's supposed to do something. <laughs> if this information is as upsetting as you're making it out to be, I'm not interested in being the messenger. 
Afraid I'm too smart for that. Mm. So what you're saying is, I need to find someone he'll trust that's foolish enough to help me deliver the news. <laughs> it's a family. It's a family trait, Thank apparently. You, I know just the person. Mace. Now I see the resemblance. Is she going to be okay? They found Ashley. She's in the hospital. But the poison must be different from the first victim. The antidote they made, it's, it's useless. What kind of a doctor are you, Dr. Scott? Just a surgeon? Not just a surgeon, but you know what I mean. I need to get a glass of water. Oh, she's gonna. This is Espinoza. I need to get an update on Ashley Corbett. Say that again, I can't hear you. There's a garbage disposal. Doc! Don't. She was gonna put her head in the disposal! I have no choice. She could still die. She could still die. I should. I, sorry, I'm gonna be shouting. The killer wouldn't demand her other hand, a spleen, a heart. Because believe me, there is no winning when you play by a twisted tyrant's rules. I'm well, sure you can see this as a fool's game. The only thing I can see is you are letting your emotions get away from you. We can't let our feelings get in the way of our work, Lucifer. Hello? Uh, I've got a delivery for a Dr. Scott. And how? How did Masked Man know that she destroyed her hand? Somebody would have had to have told him. I'm a man of my word. How they know it's going to work. Yeah, Gatorade, for all we know. Remember how I sent a shout out to my peeps for other poison victims? Mm -hmm. Well, meet Monsieur John Doe. So he might actually be the first victim. Mm-hmm. I mean, the only difference is he has hot spots all over him, almost like the poison spilled on him. That's what's his name. Designer poisons need designer antidotes. Your dead guy from Chicago is Andy Kleinberg. We were searching for uh, a special package that was smuggled into the country. It had to be the poison. Kleinberg must have been the one who stole it. I just need to ask you these questions now that you're feeling better. Yes, now that your inside's no longer bleeding out. <laughs> I mean, it was a normal day. Lunch at the dorms. And I, just, I went to the gym. I couldn't even work out because my arm was kind of sore. Arm. Why was your arm sore? Because I got stuck with it. I guess because of the flu shot that I got. Do you think that could have been it? So according to the M.E. report, the other kid got a flu shot, too. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy who gave the flu shots was Dr. Jason Carlyle. This is footage of a car accident he was in. He was a professor at Malibu until this video went viral. No! No! Oh! Want to know why? Because the poor sap saved himself. Correction. Because he saved the dissertation he'd been working on for four years while an innocent college student working as an Uber driver died. He was publicly humiliated, his wife left him, he lost his job, his entire world spiraled out of control. I thought our killer was just raving mad, but he's trying to prove a bloody point, that everyone would make the same choice he did. Uni searched Professor's house. They found files on over a dozen possible targets. Okay, well, we need to find him. If we threaten that ego, trust me, he'll respond. How do you know? Because I know his type, Daniel. I punish them all the time. I used to live with him, in fact. Called him Dad. <laughs> What are you doing, detective? Sending him an email. Okay. You pathetic, sad sack. No wonder you didn't get tenure. Your experiments are as ugly as you are. Well said, detective. Also, his mask is a bit lame. Could be much creepier. Put that in. All right, it's not you. This is, this is, it's a rash move. She's throwing caution to the wind. Well, that's great. <gasps> I mean, what could go wrong, right? You target Trixie? He responded. Uh, told you. Where's Trixie? Hello, detective. That was fast. That was fast. What do you want, Professor? What do I want? Is this a live chat? I am not a selfish person. I was vilified for doing what anyone in my position would do. Thank you for reminding me why I'm doing this and for helping me to improve upon my experiment. So this time, I'm controlling my variables. And 
here, Leon Clem. Accomplished track star. If Leon simply pulls the lever and severs his leg within 60 minutes, we have our ticking clock. Don't waste your time trying to make another. They're all unique, and the only place the formula lives is right here. Not bad for a sad sack who couldn't get tenure, huh? There's special places in hell for you, sir, and Lucifer knows where they are. They're officially poked. Now where is he? You have two minutes to talk. <laughs> you have bad news to give your son? Suck it up and do it yourself. <laughs> Good talk. Good talk. No, Chloe wasn't supposed to be here. God put her in Lucifer's path. She's a miracle. <laughs> miracle. So what, a Deal bless Penelope's lady part? Wait, is a Deal Chloe Decker's daddy? <laughs> That's a thought. <laughs> I called every lab the professor's ever been affiliated with. No one's seen him. So where is he getting his ingredients and his supplies? I was able to ping Kleinberg cell to Van Nuys Airport, where I got this. It's a professor, clear as day. Uh, can you rewind it to the part where he goes through security? And we can see his photo ID. Looks like a key card with a logo. Oh, definitely a bird. School mascot, maybe? Who's Malibu's closest rival? Don't touch anything in that lab. Oh well, isn't this a surprise? I'm actually glad you made it. Well, because you'd like to surrender. That's a bit anticlimactic, but very well, we accept. Is Lucifer gonna do his Lucifer thing? Acrylic glass, detective. Please don't kill yourself with your own bullets. Are all of the windows acrylic glass? In this vial, an antidote that will save Benji's life. In vial numero dos, poisonous gas that will kill you if you enter the room. I'm guessing everybody else who enters that room. Where's he going? I can save them. What? But in order to do so, you need to go after the professor right now before it's too late. Yeah, how did he get out? He opened a door. Where's the other door? Do you trust me? Yes. Then go. Where did he go? I mean... What is going on? Freeze! Oh, jeez. Does he have magic blood? Jesus! Oh, come on, detective, a bit of help here. Oh, that's what he's doing. Ah ha 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 ha. Now she pulls out the gun. I knew you'd save yourself. It was the only choice you could make. I didn't save myself. Put down the knife. It's not too late. That is a huge ass knife. Just wait. That huge ass knife was in his coat as they were running and tussling on the ground. Sure. I didn't want anyone to get hurt, but I needed people to understand I'm not a monster. And you, you are a human. You're delusional. He's a delusional person. But choice is an illusion, and I certainly don't have one now. You'll understand soon enough. That's a very dumb man. <laughs> See? I told you everything would be all right. I'm so glad you're okay. This is real, isn't it? I have thoughts. I have thoughts. What if he doesn't come? If he said he'll be here, he'll be here. Mm hmm. Buzzer key! 
Interesting choice of venue. Oh no. Well, this is how we break him apart. He's now questioning how he feels. Or he will question how he feels. Doesn't matter what shenanigans you two have got cooking up, because quite frankly, I'm too happy for you to spoil things. Happy. The detective and I, sorry, Chloe and I are real. Mm. I've got this overwhelming sensation. I can't even describe it, but I feel invincible. Even when he's not. Ooh. There's nothing to talk about. Let's go. <laughs> I've only just got here. I thought you understood. We're doing this. For him. Is that it? Or are you trying to get back at your ex? <gasps> oh no. Don't know what you're talking. I knew. Oh no, what is this? What's Amenadiel doing with Chloe's mum? Why is that still there? I think you already know. Don't toy with me, mother. Miranda. Because the truth, this is your father's doing. Chloe. Is his doing. He put her in your path. None of it was. It's real. None of it was real. It's real. Just manipulated, sort of, but it's real. You know, this whole bloody time, did you know? What's happening? Wait. <gasps> oh no. Something's wrong. He stabbed her with the thing when they were fighting and he pushed her off of him. You won't stop. <sighs> hmm. So, why I think the doctor was extra dumb. <laughs> Chloe was not alone when she was presented with the choice. She had help. If she were by herself, she would have made a different choice. So his experiment was flawed, deeply flawed. So he was dumb <laughs> because he's a narcissistic, egotistical dude. And he is a monster. My opinion, monster period. And sadistic. Just fucked up. Fucked up. So Lucifer being Lucifer. And his... Something happens. At least he's consistent. Because even though we know Chloe was put in his path, their interactions could have gone any possible way, especially over the amount of time that they've been together. But Julian, different outcomes were plausible. So him immediately going to nothing of it was real. I guess it's just Lucifer still having that whiplash gives into that immediate gut reaction instead of taking a second to go, no, wait. Is that one of the many possibilities? Yes. Is it the only possibility? No. But it's all negated. It's all negated. Which I find an interesting story choice because while that line of him immediately going to Chloe say, no, did you know about it? Was this real? Whatever. It's not my, the music communication is not my favorite trope. It's down low. It's a trope I actually hate is the miscommunication. I get why they're there as part of stories, especially contemporary stories, because it's really one of the only obstacles that you can put between people. So if you're going to have a communication, miscommunication, I want that resolved quickly. My choice, my personal preference. But we didn't get a chance to get there because she's dying, she's been poisoned. So I'm intrigued by that. When she gets cured, because we know she's gonna get cured, will they go back to Lucifer thinking the whole time she was, he was being played? Or will this give him the time to realize that's my own insecurities coming forward? I love Dr. Linda. <laughs> she's now the family therapist. So where are we going? 
So obviously they need to find an antidote for Chloe. How much of the next episode will that be? And will Dan be the one to kick some sense into Lucifer as far as when will Dan find out that there was Lucifer and Chloe were becoming Lucifer and Chloe? When will he find out? And two, will he be the one to kick Lucifer's ass and going, please, has Chloe been anything but genuine with you? Except for this episode when she was trying to be someone she wasn't. Intriguing. Intriguing. And this wasn't a season finale. Hmm. What's going to be the season finale? I don't know. I don't know. But there we go. That's episode something. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with me and for being patient. Hopefully I'll get my laptop to work soon. But until then, until next time, please take care of yourselves. Um, still get your flu shots and hopefully it won't be poison, but flu shots, your vaccinations are important. Drink plenty of water, go eat something, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.